guys. Uh, welcome back to Mason African Motives, still on our engineering science and four revisions, working uh, on, the uh, on the statics part uh, that is uh, working on the centroid of the lamina in this case. Uh, remember, we've got the calculations on the centroid and uh, we also have uh, the calculations that we consider uh, on the center of gravity. So the centroid is simply from the area. Uh, we are simply talking about the area moment in this case. If we are dealing with the center of gravity there, we are dealing with the volume. You're supposed to be working with a volume in that case. All right. So we have to consider the shapes that we have, have from the diagram that we are given here. If we are to consider our diagram, we can see that uh, this is a trapezium, which can be divided into a rectangle and a triangle. If we are to divide uh, this here, uh, in between, we are going to form two shapes in this case. We're going to have a rectangle on this side and also we're going to have a triangle on that side. Okay, so meaning we need the dimensions that are going to be taken on the, on the triangle, this side, the height of the triangle, which is our perpendicular height is the same as the length that is taken here of uh, 50. So meaning to say also here, we are going to have a 50. That is uh, the height that is affecting here. And uh, the best from this point up to this point, we are going to need to, to know the height. Since this is 45 from this point up to uh, this point, it's uh, 45. It means we are going to obtain uh, the remaining part here if we subtract uh, this 45 from 80. So we are going to have uh, 80 minus uh, 45, which is going to be uh, 35 in this case, all right? So that means in between here, we are going to have uh, 35 meters. So like I said, we have got two shapes that we are going to consider in our calculations. We have got uh, a rectangle and we have got uh, a triangle in this case. All right, so let us consider the shape, I mean the table uh, that we are going to use in calculation, in calculating of our uh, centroid in this case. Remember, we are going to need the shape. Uh, in this case, we are going to need uh, the shape, uh, the area of that shape. All right, we're gonna, since we are working with the centroid, we are going to need the area then we are going to need uh, the centroid in this case, all right. Then uh, also the moment in this case, all right. We are going to need the area moment in this case. So this is our area moment, uh, which is uh, uh, the part. Okay, that's it, everything. So you're just gonna need all this part and um, combine everything, okay. So uh, let us see. Uh, let us just try to have a table. In this case, let me just try to draw it as a table. All right, so we're going to have uh, something of this nature on our diagram. Like I said, the shape, consider the area, the centroid and uh, the area moment. So since we've got two shapes, we're gonna consider two things and also the total of everything in this case. All right, so let's consider the first shape. We are given this as a rectangle and the second one is a triangle, all right? So we have got uh, a rectangle in this case, and we also have a triangle. So these are the two shapes that we are given. So let's consider a rectangle. What is going to be the area of a rectangle? So the area of a rectangle is length times width. So as you can see here, we need the area, which is given length times width or length times breadth in this case, all right? So we're gonna have from this point up to this point times this point up to this point, which is 50 times 40. So that's 50 uh, times 45, sorry. From this point up to this point is 45. Uh, so we are going to obtain our area of uh, 2,250. Remember the units are in millimeters. So it's gonna be square millimeters, or you can just write square units. It's just one and the same thing. You can just write square units or square millimeters, all right? Then the centroid of a rectangle is the height of it. You have to know each and every part, all right? Uh, uh, I think I'm just gonna write each and every centroid down 
I present to you so that you understand. All right, for a rectangle is the height over two. For a triangle is going to be a third of the height. Uh, so for a, for a rectangle, we're gonna have the first centroid. So let us just write uh, this as our first area, our first centroid, which is gonna be uh, the height over two. That's for a rectangle, all right? So the height of the rectangle is 50. So we are going to have uh, 50 over two in this case, which is going to give us 25 uh, millimeters or 25 units. Then the area moment is the product of the area that we obtained and the centroid that we obtained, that is the area moment. So we can just write as M1 or whatever, we can just write as A1 times C1 is up to you, which is the product of the area and the centroid. So the area, is uh, 2250 times the air uh, times the, the centroid of uh, 25 so this was going to give us uh, 56,000 so it's going to be 56,250 uh, this is measured in uh, newton millimeters that will be our first moment area moment in this case for from a rectangle from a triangle we're going to have the one and the same thing uh, this time, going to have the area of a triangle. Remember, that's a, a right angle triangle. This one is a right angle triangle with 90 degrees. So you're going to have half base times the perpendicular height. Remember, the area of a triangle, half base times perpendicular height. So it's going to be half times the base of the triangle that is from this point to this point, which is 35, times the height, which is 50. So that is a half of 35. Uh, times 50. So this is going to give us the area of uh, the triangle that is 875 uh, square millimeters or square units. So like I said, the centroid of uh, a triangle is taken as the height over three, that's H over three. Uh, so we've got the height of a triangle, which is the height, uh, the perpendicular height that is 50. So we're going to have 50 over three. All right, so you have to know each and every part. If it is given as a circle, as a rectangle, as a square, as an isosceles triangle, as an equilateral, triangle, you are supposed to know each and every centroid. So it helps you on your calculations. All right, so this was going to give us uh, 16,6667 uh, millimeters. Then we've got uh, the second area moment, which is the product of uh, area two and uh, the centroid that we calculated in this case. So it's just the product of these two, which is the area. Remember that is 875 times our centroid, which is uh, 16,667. Uh, so that was going to give us the area moment, which was going to be 14,000. Uh, so it was going to be 14,000 in this case. All right, let us just have it properly. So our area was going to be 14,583 comma uh, 625. So this is our area in uh, Newton uh, millimeter. Okay, so that is our area moment. So in order for us to obtain the value of uh, the centroid in this case, what we are going to do is to find the value y it represents our centroid. So we're supposed to find the value of y having our totals in this case uh, from the area because we have got area here going to have the total of the area, which is area one plus area two. Uh, if we add these two, you are going to obtain 3,125 uh, square millimeters. Also, on our area moment, we combine these two, we add them together. We are going to have the total of uh, the moment in this case. So this is the sum of area, then this is the sum of our moments in this case, we add this value and this value, we are going to obtain uh, 70,833,625. All right, so that's, that's 625 uh, Newton millimeters. Okay, so the question is, if I'm having this diagram, uh, the table that I have completed, how is it going to help me to calculate now the centroid, which is the value of y in this case, All right? This is the condition that you're going to have. Since we understand that the sum of moments are supposed to be the same, and moment is simply force times distance, which is area times 
the center rate. So if we have this total of our moments in this case of the area moment, it means also if we multiply the total area in this case to the center rate in this case, we are supposed to have uh, the same thing. So that means uh, the product in this case of the total area times the total that we have on our center rate is going to be equal to the total mom uh, area moment that you're given. So you're going to multiply these two to obtain this answer, all right? So that's uh, 3,125 uh, times y in this case, all right? So that's times y is equal to the sum of the area moment that we have, which is 70,833,625. All right, so as you can see, we can have the value of y by dividing here by 3125, uh, divide also here by 3125. All right, so that means we have got uh, the value of our centroid just right as y like this, okay? Which means uh, uh, we are going to obtain uh, 22, comma six 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 seven six and so on which is gonna be twenty two comma six six uh, seven uh, in millimeters okay or just units uh, depending with the units that you're going to be working with in this case all right so that is how we would attempt these typical questions so like I said if you are working with the centroid you are going to work with the area working with the center of gravity you are going to be relating or you're going to be working with the volume you have to deal or you have to calculate or use the volume concept and you're supposed to know the centroid of each and every shape from a triangle a rectangle a square a circle each and every part and uh, just to know that uh, after knowing that the area times the centroid gives us our area moment so we calculate the total of the area moment the total of the area then we calculate the centroid from the product of total area times y to give us the total moment that we are given, which is our area moment. So from there, we can uh, find y by making it the subject. That's how we can simplify uh, this type of equation.